There's no doubt about it, fish have a keen sense of smell. And one of the things that pros do regularly all around the country is they rely on scent products of different type. Though they may not always agree as to whether or not scents act as an attractant or as a, a mask, in other words, a mass human odor, uh, is open for debate. But the fact is, is that top anglers around the country rely on scents as a primary part of their strategy. For me, I know in a lot of anglers, it starts with cleaning their hands, making sure before you touch any of your baits, your line, your bait, whatever you're using, that you start out with clean hands. There's uh, soaps on the market that are designed specifically for fishing. You can go that route, or you can go with an old standard like Lemon Joy, which is a staple of Northwest Guides uh, and has been for decades. The other advantage of using these soaps is to clean up your lures. After weeks and weeks of using them and uh, you know, maybe getting lots of different scent products on them, a clean bait is an effective bait and it's a great place to start. So a uh, simple hand soap like this, in some cases a toothbrush, in other cases just uh, soap and water is all you need. As for the types of scents to use, it's just like uh, most anything in fishing, and that is matching, in this case, the particular scent product to the predominant feed in the area. With bass, for instance, you can't really go wrong with a crawfish type of bait, or nightcrawler, or minnow. In the case of salmon steelhead, an anchovy or a herring scent is very effective. Uh, there's lots of different types of scent products. There's oils, there's water-based, there's paste. Um, again, it's a matter of choice, it's a matter of preference uh, and, and individual preference. How you apply them uh, is pretty important. With a spinner, for instance, the inside of the blade or the body uh, is, is where you want to apply the scent product. You want to stay away from applying it on any kind of bucktail. Certainly don't want to use it on flies either. It'll actually mat them down. In the case of a plug like this, you'll want to apply it liberally to the plug and up and down the line. How often do you use them? Every 20 to 30 minutes is just fine. Some folks will go as long as an hour. I prefer to use it about every half hour or so, and that'll work just perfect. Again. Scent products, whether you believe them that are effective as an attractant or a mask, are a primary and a very, very important strategy to top pros around the country, and they will definitely put the odds in your favor. Good fishing.